afraid of the bug! Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Blitzwing and come back at you with another Skylanders Giants character review and today for our very first Giant, I thought that it would be appropriate to review the very first uh, Giant that you are most likely going to own and that is the one and only Mr. Tree Rex. And uh, of course, uh, as you guys know, or if you don't know, this is my second review. So basically how this particular series works is that we take a look at the toy component of Skylanders Giants, being the actual figurine, and then we cut to the gameplay when we discuss the upgrades, gameplay, and just uh, basically conclude everything nicely with a good solid score out of 10 uh, for the particular Skylander or Skylander Giant figurine. So in this case, it's going to be Tree Rex. So without further ado, let's get into it. Yes, guys, by the way, I burned my at work so my bad I had to put a band-aid on sorry about that but uh, let's get to uh, our first giant so this would be usually the uh, giant that you would own first because he comes basically uh, even if you don't purchase the portal pack uh, he will usually come packed in with the game so uh, you usually should have this as your very first giant uh, so that's again why I thought it would be appropriate to pick him but uh, here he is he looks very very cool he definitely has a really, really good motif of like kind of having a feel of being made out of wood. Like seriously, when you pull him out of the package, it almost feels like, is this plastic or is this wood? Is this made out of wood? And then they painted it. I, I thought that it would have been cool if they could have been, if they could have done that. I think it would have been probably too expensive to do. But I, I think that would have been kind of neat if they could have made it out of wood, or at least partially out of wood, like a hand out of wood. That would have been kind of interesting if they could have got away with that. But of course, he's got this really kind of char uh, characterful big horns. And the interesting thing is in the game, which you'll see in just a sec, his horns don't... Uh, don't feel like they're actually quite as big and over time of course in the game you actually acquire one upgrade which is kind of like an armor upgrade so you will see kind of like almost like a metal plating over here and on the shoulders and everything so he will look different over in the game over time as you get more upgrades but I think that this is still a very very good representation uh, of Tree Rex. I really love this kind of tree trunk uh, back here where it looks like it's got chopped off or something. I'm not sure. Maybe he was like attached to someone. Maybe that's how Tree Rexes are born. They're like attached to someone. They just poof, they fall off. Um, that would be kind of interesting. Now, <laughs> and weird <laughs> at the same time. Now, the other thing that I found weird about him is the fact that if you look at his pants, and this is, I know that some people are going to be like, what the hell, why are you paying so much attention? But I found that to be a little funny. The fact is that he's got all this like, basically like leaves growing and everything to I guess cover up his, uh, uh, you know, crotch and everything and butt, but uh, he doesn't have that anywhere else. So it's, does that mean that he's basically like naked and he's just wearing like a pair of boxers or something like that? Because then it's like, why is that the only place that he's got leaves growing? So I'm not sure if that's what they were going for or not, but that's uh, something that I kind of noticed that I was wondering what you guys uh, would think about that too. Now, uh, the other thing that is cool actually in the legs is the way that the sculpting works where this really does look uh, kind of like leaf-like and it's got like these dotted patterns and then it transitions nicely into the tree uh, effect again. And overall, just he looks very, very cool. He's got this really big uh, hand here, which you are going to be using for your Sakia Stampede as well as your Smash Attack. So it's definitely got an actual... Uh, reason for existing and this is what uh, where he fires his photosynthesis cannon out of so definitely cool so all that being said um, his base is a little disappointing I, I find the base on all the life uh, characters basically to be a little too boring it's just kind of like a giant pile of leaves uh, and uh, I don't know I just I think the Magic uh, Skylanders got it right where they have a very cool base uh, actually the um, uh, undead element or whatever those guys like uh, you know chop chop and all those uh, they have a very cool base too but uh, so I don't really like that but that being said let's take a look at what Tree Rex looks like on the portal of power so let's go ahead and place him on there and as you can see his eyes light up in a lot of character right away as well as his uh, photosynthesis cannon which is super awesome of course this is something that is uh, common for all uh, the giant figures they all have some type of a light up gimmick uh, within them. I think the Tree Rex exercise is one of the best uh, appearances because when you light him up, like look at that, that looks so characterful. His eyes are done so well to where uh, basically they, they drew like the uh, pupils as you can see, like the black little pupils, they drew it on. So when you when you light him up, like when if you're playing it late at night or something, it looks very, very cool and he definitely literally looks like he has come to life. 
Now, the other thing that I forgot to point out about him is the fact that, he, in my mind, he's got a very, very characterful uh, face. Like, look at his face. He's just got this, like, giant, like, oh, I just want to eat some burgers or something. Well, actually, he's probably a vegetarian. Huh. Or maybe he's not, because he wouldn't want to eat his own kind, technically. So maybe he does eat hamburgers. So he's like, oh, I just want to eat a large hamburger. Om nom 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 nom. Uh, but now that I've made a complete uh, fool of myself, let's go ahead and cut to some awesome gameplay for Mr. Tree Rex. Alrighty, so as I mentioned, let's take a look at some of Tree Rex's gameplay. But before we get to actual gameplay, uh, let's take a look at his statistics and up upgrades. And then after that, we'll go into a battle arena to really test him out and see how Tree Rex does in combat. So let's take a look at his stats. And as you can see, right away, it becomes apparent that his thing is being basically like a damage sponge. He's an absolutely amazing amazing giant for absorbing an exorbitant amount of damage i mean look at this he's almost got 1100 uh, points of health and on top of that don't forget if you put a hat on him even though if you look at him right there he does look like he's got some armor on and that is one of his upgrades actually which we'll get to in just one sec but if you put a hat that upgrades health you could go over 1100 hit points for his health which is really really useful especially in those like challenging areas where there's a ton of enemies trying to swamp you it is absolutely super duper useful uh, to have tree Rex there to help you out uh, to clear the areas now the other thing that becomes a little interestingly apparent is the fact that his armor ability is not quite very high a lot of people including myself would think that tree Rex would be very very highly uh, powerful in his armor ability, but he's only got a 27 and then his other weakness is of course the speed now That is something that is kind of uh, Universal for all the different Giants and that is that they're very slow characters But there is a way to fix that with tree Rex, which is why I really 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 love uh, To play as him and he is definitely one of my favorite uh, Giants out of the ones that I currently own so now that we took a look at his statistics, let's go ahead and take a look at some of his upgrades. So first off, we've got his basic attack, which is the Shockwave Slam right here, which I'll show you, of course, in just one sec. We've got the Sekia Stampede, which allows him to basically charge and uh, push people through. Uh, we've got the Photosynthesis, Photosynthesis, oh my goodness, Photosynthesis, Synthesis. Synthesis, photosynthesis, photosynthesis. Okay, good. I got that right. Um, Big Thorn Shockwave Slam. We've got the Super Stampede. So basically, these two are upgrades of these two moves the Shockwave Slam and the Sakia Stampede. These are upgrades on those. Uh, then we've got the Tree Folk Triple Shot, which allows you to fire the um, uh, photosynthesis cannon in uh, multiple uh, shots, triple bursts, in fact. And then basically here's the separation point. Now, I've got two other friends who have Tree Rex, of course, and um, they both went with this category. And I've played with that Tree Rex, and I thought that it was fun. I think basically what this is is again it kind of allows you to focus here uh, if you want the photosynthesis attacks, or do you prefer the close combat, get in and get out type thing, and um, close quarters, you know, hand to hand combat with Tree Rex. It's really kind of up to you here. But uh, this is very fun. This uh, particular tree uh, option is very fun as well of upgrades. So basically what it includes is a supercharged vaporizer, which upgrades your photosynthesis cannon and makes it more powerful. This one basically kind of like explodes the photosynthesis. So it's got like a bursting effect. And then this, uh, once you vaporize an enemy, basically they turn into like, you see in the picture, it's kind of faded, but you can see it somewhat. Uh, they turn into like this plant pod, and then that plant pod is explosive, so it does further damage. So it's definitely a fun way to go about um, getting damage out there, but to me, I felt like this is a much more useful uh, upgrade tree, because what it allows you to do is it allows you to do get rid of that really really big weakness of being slow and the way that it does that is by giving you this ability which is light footed and this ability really makes a huge difference because not only are you allowed to use the Sakia Stampede now for a much longer period of time but on top of that it allows you to move faster so you take away all of that weakness and if you're in the battle arena or something like that you can really you know run away do some damage and run away and it's very difficult to catch you I mean the only characters that would have a easy time of catching or are characters like bash who's got the rolling attack or maybe uh flameslinger who's got the running attack and everything so it's like 
it's a really, really useful attack that can be used in two different manners. Now, the other upgrades that you get here is the Titanic Elbow Drop, which I had to get because I was like, come on, that is like a, a wrestling move or something. And to me, that was very cool. Even though in this picture, is it just me or does it look like he's like dropping his leg, not his elbow? To me, it just doesn't look like that's his elbow. To me, it looks like he's like doing like a like his leg just stretched out like crazy. I don't know. It just looks like the image is a little funny to me. And uh, I'm not sure. To me, it just resembles as if he's like running and he's like doing a split in the air. And then uh, finally is the ultimate stampede, which is kind of disappointing. It doesn't, it's not too much fun. But again, it upgrades your stampede attack to where you can run. And now you do even more damage, like 30 to 45 damage, depending on the enemies. So it's, a, it's definitely useful still, but... It is a little disappointing. Now, the final um, ability that you unlock, which is, of course, the Soul Jam ability. Uh, and the Soul Jam is located, as the description says right there, in Molokan Mountain. So you have to find uh, the Soul Jam in that particular level in order to unlock this, is the Woodpecker Pal. And basically what it does is it basically kind of helps you out. You've got a little buddy there who does uh, damage and helps you out with damage for you. And that's basically it. Okay, so now let's get to the battle arena here to actually oh, yeah. exemplify some of the cool attacks that he's got here. Going for him. Okay, enough, Brock. Enough talking, Brock. Um, let's let's do this one. Why not? That sounds kind of fun. We'll do smoke screen. Uh, so um, we'll, I'll show you right away. Okay, let him talk. Good. All right, so three, two, one. There we go. All right, so first off, of course, you got your basic smash. Now, the upgrade to the smash attack is the charge one where you hold A. And as you saw, there's like spikes that come out of his arm. And basically, those do much more damage than the regular smash attack does. Because here's this regular smash. Oh, okay, that still cleared everyone. But then the big smash, as you can see, there's a much more uh, bigger burst effect off of it. And on top of that... Uh, which means that it's got a good range for it, which again explains why I do not feel like the photosynthesis is too um, important for this particular giant. Now, the photosynthesis cannon, as you saw me fire it there at the bomb, uh, it's for me it's very basic because I did not go with the particular route of upgrades for it. So as you can see, for me it's just basically like a three round uh, burst effect type thing, as you can see right here, so I tap it. And uh, it, it is useful, definitely, if you have low health and you want to kind of stick back and just slowly do some damage. I definitely think that it is a useful tool, no doubt about that. Now, here's the um, Sakia Stampede. So basically, as you can see, when you just start running, uh, you don't have, like, spikes around your Sakia Stampede. But as you can see, uh, because I had that uh, Super Sakia Stampede, it upgrades it to the extent that now there are spikes coming out of it so I can use it not only as a tool to dodge, like for example, this guy is a perfect example of that, look, I can trigger him to attack, run around him, right here, you see, and then just do damage from behind. So it's definitely very useful, and as you can see, check this out, like if I press it right now, right, look how long I can run around this damn circle. You see that? And how quickly. That's the other thing. It's like, I've become a much faster character. So, for me, he's been, like, very useful in the battle arena just due to that fact. So, if you want, like, imagine if you had low health, all you would have to do is literally just run around this damn thing, and that's all. Now, if you notice in the background, of course, uh, you see they're taking damage right now? Well, that damage is from the fire, of course, too, but... Uh, I hope you've paid attention. There he goes. The little pecker guy, or little pecker pal. He goes in for the attack, and he swoops in, and he does damage too. Look at that. There he goes. Boom. 16 damage to those big guys. So, you can literally just run around the enemies like this, and then let your woodpecker pal like finish, uh, finish things off. So, Tree Rex is a very, very powerful Skyland. Now, the final uh, thing that I did not show you is the combination of the Sakia Stampede and uh, the Shockwave Flam, where basically I can run and then go into an elbow drop like so. You saw that? So I'm running and then go into an elbow drop and it does a ton of damage. And it is definitely also a very, very useful tool towards where if you got a bunch of chompies in one area, kind of gather them up, run up there and boom, elbow drop and see you later, suckers. And they are gone. So Tree Rex, definitely a sauce boss. He is a very, very useful giant. Uh, he's a decent figure too. So uh, I, I think that he's one of those giants where he could potentially be very, very useful. But at the same time, if you go with the photosynthesis upgrades, to me, I think that that's a little bit of a worse way to go with him. So if you want to maximize your potential ability with him, I would definitely go with the more uh, Sakia upgrade or the... Um, 
uh, well, uh, what is it called? Smash. The smash attack upgrade as well, because I think that that uh, kind of increases his value uh, within your team and everything, and uh, I think you'd get a little more use out of him. That being said, he's definitely... Um, gets a little bit boring so to speak because he's the first giant you get no matter what like if you buy the game the game doesn't sell by itself it always comes at least with three wrecks so to me in that sense he does get a little boring as you play him for a little while he is gonna get plain and a little boring but you still gotta understand that he is freaking awesome and he's kind of i guess the original skylander giant right so i mean you really still have to give him some love and uh, he definitely is not going to please all people because a lot of people will say that he's a little too plain and boring. Which, again, as I'm saying, I, I agree to that. There's no doubts about that. But I think that he's a very, very strong giant. And um, I know that some people are going to be surprised by that. But I'm going to give the one and only Tree Rex an 8.5 out of 10. And there you have it, guys. That concludes our re another review of uh, the Skylanders figures slash actual characters within in game so make sure to hit that like button guys and of course in the comment section below leave a suggestion for who you would like to see reviewed next out of these skylanders that i currently own there should be a list of them in the description box below so check the description box and uh, so far this is of course the second review first one was pop Fizz, so check that one out and um Thanks a lot for watching, guys. You guys are freaking awesome. Please subscribe, share the videos, and favorite the videos. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated. I'll catch you guys next time with a bunch more Skylanders Giants coming your way. So make sure to check out the channel for more content. Peace out. Thanks for watching, and see you later.